Yeah, so I kind of just, uh, I'll kind of, I've been kind of absent from uh, Instagram. I, um, been going through some things, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, emotional things. I know a lot of people know that I've been in and out of the program and stuff, in and out of like, you know, rehabs, you know, been to jails a couple of times. Um, just a lot of bad stuff, a lot of, a lot of chaos in my life in between from when I was pretty much like in sophomore year of high school to pretty much now and I'm 31 years old. Um, and I'm pretty much just wanna say a testimony to you guys about how real, uh, how real heaven and hell is. And you know, I thought from, I thought from, I thought I've been living in hell here on earth for a very long time, but it's, uh, it's nothing. So I'm a, I'm a drug addict. I'm an alcoholic. I felt, I felt this all of loneliness ever since I was a kid. You know, I never felt like I was good enough. Growing up as a kid, we were always moving around. I wasn't, we weren't stable. I was insecure. I didn't feel like I, I belonged in this world. Um, I started, uh, I started using uh, alcohol, maybe like in high school and stuff, and you know it did something to me. It gave me like some sort of confidence to where, uh, you know, it made me feel like I was a part of, you know, that. This is a little bit of alcohol. It just makes you feel like you're, you know, like the life of life of the party, and, you know, and. Uh, started getting worse, started partying a lot. I started getting into cocaine, I started getting into ecstasy. Uh, I was more of like, I was a black eye drinker. I would do a lot of things that I wouldn't remember. Things that, things that, you know, I would be ashamed of in the morning and, you know, I was just living a life of chaos, life of loneliness. I didn't feel no love. You know, uh, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm making this video because of the experiences that I've been I've been going through these past couple of days. I've been to rehabs. I've been in and out of jails. I almost went to prison. I've just been lost for so many years. Well, and I have a son, Levi. And it's just, I just feel, it's just, it's so hard for him to, especially now, you know, a couple, a week ago, I was drinking and getting, getting messed up. And, uh, you know, I was in a blackout and, you know, I did some things, uh, I don't remember. I just, you know, I get violent, you know, got violent with his, his mother. And, uh. I think God said that, that it's time. He said, he said it's time. I had a dream, I had a dream. I had a dream that I went to hell. <sighs> I was pulled. I was pulled from my legs. And I was brought down, brought down to hell. And in hell, 
but it's the loneliest place I've ever been. You're yelling, and nobody can hear you. You are being tormented by demons. I'm 31 years old. I've never had an experience like this in my life. It's so scary. I was being tortured by demons. They were pushing me around. The dense, the air was so dense. You cannot walk, you can barely walk. You're tired. You cannot get nowhere. And they're taunting you and messing with you. Where I went, there was a few chambers and uh, I just remember uh, seeing my sister in there and I was telling her, Melissa, Melissa, help me. I was so afraid. There's demons, they're chasing me. She just looked at me and she looked away and the feeling that I got with her it just looked like she was, she was just, it looked like she was just lost. In the chamber where I saw her at, there was a couple of kids. And uh, I read it, I read somewhere that demons like to get a hold of the children's, they like to look innocent and pretend to be kids. But they're really not kids, they're demons. Just like, just like how, you know, kids could see ghosts and stuff and they have like the eye for it. Uh, There was a cliff that I kept running to every time. It was so hard for me to get there, it was about 10 feet. I would walk to it, and when I would jump, I would be back in square one with the with the tormenting. Oh. I was getting so tired, I was so afraid. I was yelling, 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 God, take me out of here. Take me out of here, please. Take me out of here. I was yelling, please, he can, nobody can hear you. Nobody can hear you in there, you're alone. I got to the point where I was just so tired, tired of running into this cliff and still being chased by these demons and and pushed around. I got to that cliff again. And I pretty much just let go. I let go of everything. I let go of my past. All the wrong I've done. All the people I've hurt. I let go, and I let God. Everything was so dark, but when I when I when I threw myself off this cliff, I seen a bright light, and I was confused because it felt like I was. It felt like I was in there for eternity. I felt like this is this is where this is it. I made the wrong mistakes and on earth. This is it. I'm here. It's so bad in there. You don't want to go. God. It's not God. And he smiled. <laughs> and I felt comfortable. And then I smiled back. And then he said to me, everything's gonna be all right. I'm here.
looking for you. He's... All I remember is just going through this tunnel and I could still hear the crackling of the fire around the tunnel. So vivid. I go through this tunnel and I see light. And then I see a place that's filled with light, filled with people. Everybody in there knew each other. Everybody in there was filled with love. I was in, I was in hell for three hours. And I, every time I would wake up, I would tell Levi's mother that Karina, there are demons and they're chasing me. As soon as, as soon as, as soon as I dozed off, I went back into hell. I did that two times. She counted the time. She counted the time that I was doing that and it was three hours. The time that I spent in heaven was only three seconds. But it felt so good. All I could think about was all the torment that I, that, that was, was going on in that dream. And I believe that I'm 100% sure that God loves me so much. And he loves you so much that he showed me this. He didn't, he didn't show me this just because. He showed me this because he wanted me to tell you guys how real it is. There's only two routes. There's hell and heaven. Only two. If you're seeing this video, and if you're a Christian or a Catholic and believe in God and believe that Christ died for our sins, for our sins, all the wrong that I've done in my life. He, 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 he will wipe them away. You don't have to go there. The music that you listen to. Be careful with the listen that you, the music that you listen to. The, the devil is in this world and he's manipulating a lot of people with music social media, the presidency, anything, TV, <sighs> lust, premarital sex, <laughs> lying, uh, blasphemy, all that stuff. If you have done those stuff in the past, ask Jesus Christ, ask God forgive to forgive you of your sins because it's real it's real I'm telling you guys it's real it is real after that dream I just couldn't stop thinking about it I was so afraid and I still felt the torment I still felt it I uh and the next day something came into me and I was reading up on it and I've been searching so much I've been searching I've been searching so much on what it is and it was the Holy Ghost and I was baptized by the Holy Ghost I was baptized and I was washed of my sins by the Holy Ghost normally people do it by going to church and you know, being baptized with the holy water, being washed away of your sins. There's other occasions, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting familiar with it, but where the Holy Ghost comes to you and he baptizes you. And I felt the power and I feel the power inside of me. There's a vibration inside of me that is so strong that that's this vibration is the reason that I'm, that I'm making this video to let you guys know that 
Everything in this world is just material. The choices you make, the heavens, they have books for every single person that is on earth. People who kill will not make it, will not make it. People that get saved, the heavens on earth, everybody is, it's almost like if they're having parades on in heaven every time somebody gets saved. It's real. I feel a conscious of heaven. I feel a conscious of God right now. I feel a conscious of, of Jesus Christ. Heaven has this, heaven has a sense of joy. When I do cute things with my son Levi, that's when my body illuminates and my vibration gets high. God, I believe God chose me. Uh, in the Bible, it says that there's a few people in the Bible that uh, Moses, uh, I can't think of any names, but I'm, I'm reading the Bible almost every day and I've never opened it in my life. I'm reading the Bible almost every day and I'm just reading up on things that God, Jesus Christ put other disciples to do for the name of, for the name of the Lord, for, for God. And these are, uh, it's almost like offerings, like not offerings, uh, or you have to do something for the Lord. He has called you to do something. A lot of people on earth here are called to do, to do something. To spread the word, spread the word about Jesus Christ. Uh, that same night, I felt this, the Holy Spirit inside of me. And uh, I felt the Holy Spirit inside of me and uh, uh, um, I got into a, a uh, altercation with uh, with my son's mother's mom. She's an alcoholic, and uh, the Holy Spirit had had already washed me of my sins. So what had happened was, is I uh, I went off on her, and I, every bad word you could think of, every bad word you could think of. I said it to her, and I thought it, I thought it was okay for some weird reason. That's the way the devil works. He works in schemes. He's a snake. He works in ways to kind of he puts things in your mind. But before I tell you guys this, is uh, fear, doubt, worry. Stress. What am I? What's gonna happen to me in the future? What am I doing with my life? All those things that cause stress in your mind, those are things that are created by the devil. If you could just believe in Christ, believe in God, and believe that He gave Himself, that He that He that He that He died for our sins, you'll be on the right path and to build a relationship with God, build a relationship with the Son of God. Which is Jesus Christ. He loves you. But when I did this uh, did this thing, when I when I went off on this lady, I I sinned. And because I have a pact with God right now for me to do something so big, the devil. God has called me to do something big. And the devil does not want that. So as soon as I sinned, that same night, I started feeling all these bad emotions. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but the demons went inside of me. Started, everything was just, everything was just felt so wrong. I just started feeling so many bad feelings. It's almost like I just, I, I, there, there was this little thought of just, I don't like this feeling. I need to do something about it. I don't, want, I don't want to say the word, but the word is suicide. Uh, I struggled, I struggled the whole night. I was back and forth in my bed, back and forth in my bed. I felt it right here. They attached to you. They attached to you. And uh, I started praying, I started getting on YouTube. 
how to cast out demons. Um, I started doing all these things to get this feeling, to get these demons inside, outside of me. Uh, you could, every prayer that I was saying, there was this guy on YouTube that I went to that was very helpful. Every prayer that he was saying to cast out demons was working. Um, I could feel like a, a little bit of pressure release, a little bit of pressure release. But uh, I, I was able to withstand that whole night. And in the morning, I started calling everybody, my dad, my mother. My mother was so worried. She lives in North Carolina and she wanted to take a plane over here because I was going through these spiritual, spiritual, it's a spiritual battle. And uh, in the morning, I was just, my son's mother was trying to help me and I thought that she was trying to hurt me. <laughs> Levi was just there. He didn't know what was going on. It's just bad. It's just bad that he, he was able to see that. But I just want to end it with this because God loves God loves me and God loves you so much that he watched me. He washed me again. The Holy Spirit washed me again that same morning. And because I have a calling and I have a pact with God, Jesus Christ, He said, that's not the way to do it. Try it again. I love you so much that I'm gonna wash him again. But this, but this time, walk that straight path, the righteous path, the godly path. Ever since then, I've just been every 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 good thing that I do. Like when I play with my son and I show him love, my body illuminates and it vibrates, which is the Holy Spirit telling me that I like this. Um, when I when I go on meetings, when I talk to people about God, my body illuminates and it vibrates. When I was talking to you guys and I was crying in the beginning of the video, my body was illuminated with good vibrations. I'm at a, I'm at a loss for words, but all I want to say is that uh, if you have any doubts in God and Jesus Christ, and if I could, if I'm able to save. If I'm, if I'm able to just turn on a light on some of you guys, consider repenting, repenting for your sins. Consider being saved. Consider having a relationship with God. Consider having a relationship with Jesus Christ. Love one another. Be patient. Love thy neighbor. Love your family. Forgive. Because all those things are godlike, and, and every time you do things like that, they smile. They smile in heaven. They smile in heaven. Heaven is big. They smile. They have parades for every good thing that you do. They cheer. It's almost like if uh, I don't know if anyone has seen the Wolf of Wall Street, when uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is a. Uh, they're in the office and they're like yelling and stuff and, and like uh, Leonardo is on the phone and he, he's talking to somebody about making a cell and then uh, he makes a cell and he's just like starts screaming and everyone's happy and they're just like screaming and screaming heaven has that some kind of joy it's just not fake everything that's coming out of my mouth is real it's a hundred, I'm 100% pure right now. I don't make videos like this. I don't, I don't even, I don't even, I've never made a video. I don't make videos. I don't make videos. It's the first, first video I've ever made. Because something is telling me to. Repent for your sins. Get closer to God. 
stay away from the wicked. Believe me. Believe that Jesus died for our sins. I normally don't cry on, 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 on the video. I usually just cry in personal times when I'm just feeling depressed or anxiety. If you're going through depression and anxiety, ask God to remove those things from you. Any little thought, any little confusion that you have, anything that doesn't seem right in your mind, everything, give it to God. Give it to God. Prayers are heard as soon as you say them. They're collected as soon as you say them. It's not like you, you know how you buy something online and you know, uh, like you buy something on Amazon. And, you know, you, you, you send out this frequency and this frequency like it takes, it takes so long for you, to, for you to send your package. As soon as you say a prayer, they, he, they hear them on, on, in heaven. They're there. They are embraced. The prayers are embraced. I don't know what to say. I just want to... I just want to pray and... Pray for anyone who's having a hard time. Like, for example, the singing. The singing. I've never sang. But there was always something inside of me. Devil tells you things. It will never be a mountain to nothing. It will never accomplish nothing. Music has always been in my heart. When I listen to music, when I hear people singing, it's always in the background of my mind always on the edges of my heart. That's how me. If I could do that. I'm 31. Everything happens at exactly the right time. I could have said, I could have said I started music at 21, but that's not the way. That's not what. No, that's not the way my life is called. I'm 31, and I'm a singer, and I'm, I'm able to say that with confidence. Not being afraid of what people think about me. The thoughts are going on in my head. Who does he think you are? Who does he think he is singing, singing on Instagram? That's a devil. If you have a gift, you do it for the glory of God, not for anything else. This is just the world. It's just a little speck of all powerful goddess. Small. The moon, the planets, little things. The numbers on your hair. It's hard for me to speak right now, but the numbers on your hair. He knows them all. He knows what you think how you feel 
He knows everything about you. I'm just going to keep moving forward with... Like for example, my body is vibrating right now. It's hard to explain. Yeah, I'm filled with love right now. It's hard to explain. If you have dreams, you go for those dreams. If you have anything, if you have any interests, if you have any visions, those were implanted in you before you were born. God knows you before you were born. He knows who you are. You can reach, you can reach the stars with whatever it is that you're doing with the glory of God, for the glory of God. Before I finish this video, I just want to remind you, anybody who may be looking at this video, um, I just can't stress it enough that if if you feel something about this video, if you feel some kind of positive energy, it's not a coincidence. Uh, I can't stress it enough. If you if you if you if you feel something about this video, if you feel good, if it makes you feel good, that means God is telling you that it's time, life is short. When you keep doing bad, the devil has the power to take you. Or do you think there's so many accidents, the coronavirus, all those people, the death of the coronavirus patients that have died and have not repented for their sins and have not been saved, the devil is taking them taking them, taking them. Anybody who has, anybody who has died and has been saved and has repented for their sins, this is just a body. This is just a body. This is just a body. This is just a carrier, cell phone, like, you know, like a, an object. The real battles and the real, not the real battles, but the real important is heaven. I read somewhere today in the morning, do not be afraid of the man who kills the body, but the evil one who has the ability to put you in hell. I'm able to say that I've been to hell for a reason to make this video and I have a call I can feel it I've been lost my whole life I can feel it 